Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me Cooper and today we're going to be going on to the next area against Bandit Goddamn Keith. That's right everyone, we're going to the Treasure Trove. Now Bandit Keith is a very interesting character. This guy was one of the best duelists to ever exist. He made one of the best decks in his time period. But his only weakness was two things. One, he did not have a Millennium Item in which to cheat legally. Two, his methods of cheating were used improperly. I understand the card 7 completed was pretty damn good Duelist Kingdom era. But you hey could have just slipped opponent, Monster Reborn or Mirror Force up your sleeve or something like that. Alright, what's up, Bandit? There's no way a snot-nosed punk like you can beat me. I don't know. How is America even good at doing? If you're the former American champion, that means you're not the champion anymore, right? Nope. Rebecca kicked his, kicked his ass off the, out of the Shut way. Shut your mouth, Runt. I'm warning you. All right, this come on. Is gonna be hazardous to your health. Oh, you want to see something hazardous? How dare you call yourself a champion? You've always dueled without pride or honor, cheating every chance you get. Damn, Yugi, calm down. You've fallen far, Bandit Keith. So far that you're nothing more than a failure. Y Yugi, calm down. Ugh, I'll make you eat your words. Damn, you're he's really to mean to him. the greatest pain you've ever felt in your life. I'm actually starting to root for Bandit Keith on this one. I feel bad for the man. All right, go America. But obviously, I, I gotta beat him. But Bandit Keith, I am not gonna lie, is one of the harder opponents in this game. I remember my original Let's Play of it. It was re yeah, thank God I beat him there. Uh, he was a really hard opponent. So I'm gonna go first. Hopefully that means I'll get to see his cards. And I gotta remember what beats what. All right, he obviously has electric pieces and dark pieces. Yeah, that makes sense. Looks like he has four and four. An extremely powerful team. I'm going to need to find something that could defeat electricity and darkness. You know what? Let me pull out my phone. Let me check my pictures. What beats those? Light lightning probably loses to ground, right? Or, no, wait. That's Pokemon shit. What is... Thunder loses to Earth. No, I was right about that. All right. So we could beat that with Earth, but darkness beats Earth. Oh. But darkness loses to light. Oh, but light beats thunder beats light. Ooh, what a... What an interesting little setup you have me in here. All right, so this man's smarter than he looks. This man's really smart. Well, I'm going to obviously bring my Earth guys to take down you. And then I need Light guys like Time Wizard to take down you as well. Ah, I lost Happy Lover last fight. That's not good. So, Darkness. Okay, I do have a great Earth man right there. No matter what, we bring root water. It's just, it's part of the job. The question is, how am I going to beat Bandit Keith? Sonic made. He's got eight monsters, so I might as well consider bringing weak monsters to fill up my forces. Karibo can come. Which one of these legs has the interesting attack? Let's see doesn't show me attack okay uh huh i thought this would show me attack i'm wrong oh wait do i have to press next yep there it is okay movement in two a hand is not bad all right i'm gonna bring the hand okay i can bring two more troops and they probably need to be heavier hitters i have no more light troops but I do have more powerful cards. All right. I'm going to do this. We're going to bring out... God, I'm stressed. Maybe Summon Skull. Maybe even Great White. Just throw our, our high-level creatures at them. Yeah. If we don't have a type advantage, just go for power. But I don't think you can overpower Bandit Keith. Very few people can boast the, th the fact that they can overpower him. One of those few people is freaking Seto Kaiba. Alright, I'll manually place pieces. So, we are going to get Karibo. 
fuck. All right. Karibo, your interesting movement makes me want you on a side. So take this corner. Exodia piece. You are going to take this corner. And you get blocked. You will still take the corner. Time wizard. You will also take the corner. Larvis. You are going to take front. Root water. Boss monster. Hide with the main piece. Great white. I haven't exactly understood your attacking, so... We're going to... Leave you on this side of the map. You'll attack from this side. Summon Skull. You are just one of my best hitter mo uh, attacking monsters, so... I want you in a decent position. Probably in the middle somewhere. And then finally, two out of King Rex. You're going to lead the charge as my strongest monster. Alright. I think I have everyone positioned the way I want them. This should be a tough fight, though. Alright. I get to go first. It's tough. So, what we're going to do... Only 25 AP, no thank you. 76 AP. We're going to summon Time Wizard to give us a big boost in AP. And then we're going to get Rex out early. I need to force his hand by summoning my monsters early. Now, I know his scariest pieces are probably the dark pieces. Or are they the electric Remember pieces? This. There's only one thing that rules the world. Money! Money! Holy shit, he's got the he's got money. Alright, he summons that card. And he summons that card, okay. Weird. You're a weird guy, Bandit Keith. You're a weird guy. Here I So, let's take a peek. I know I gotta be wary of his dark pieces. I know there are electric pieces right here. So now I'm gonna want Karibo on the field. Great White, how much AP do you give? You give a shit ton of AP. You're going on the field. Two out of King Rex, I want you to control the mainland right now. You're at plus 20 up here. I love that. All right, you control the mainland. Time Wizard, already start moving in. Oh, shit, I didn't realize that. Oh, I should have positioned him right there. I would have... Well, no, wait, this might work out too. It just will take me a little longer than expected, but it's fine. It's fine. We can make this work. Alright, moving your boss piece, understanding that I'm coming after it. That guy attacks weird. On the corner, he left himself a Lala Leon, or something like that. Two of them. Those pieces' movement is perfect for this map. Too bad I let my Dark Magician Girl die last episode. She would have loved this place. So, he's got a bunch of monsters unsummoned. And, and if I were to send in two out of King Rex, maybe I could do something to them. But that would be a big cost to me in order to make those moves. Alright, Great White, I want you to move forward. Yeah, get into a position where you could put support for two out of King Rex. Karibo, you start your movement. Okay. Time Wizard, you have a long... Yeah, you, you have annoying pathing right here, so... Pretty sure you're allowed to walk through that. So, let's see this guy. So, he attacks like this. So, he'll, he won't be able to hit me over here. But Time Wizard doesn't like this area. I need to get Time Wizard some backup. A piece of Exodia. I also need to summon myself. Alright. There we go. He's got a lot of pieces still. How do you move? Ooh, they're the sideways movers, yeah. He's gonna be a complicated opponent. Bandit Keith. An actual real opponent. Not something we've seen in a bit. But Koro definitely was, and we beat his boss piece. He's trying to run. He's coming after me. He's positioning him as a shield. Alright, I think I got those blocking my path now. 
Even if they are, I have ideas. Fuck. Hold up. Yeah, they blocked me. Okay. So the way these things attack... They couldn't hit me if I moved here. So I will move back here, even though I don't want to. Because it puts me in a bad situation. Now, if I move here, I might bait them forward. So even though I don't want to attack in this way, this is just to bait them to come towards me. Two out of King Rex, if you continue your march, you might be able to force some stuff out of this guy, but due to his awkward movement, actually, he can't hit you. Yeah, okay, you're fine. Alright, get in there, two edit. I know I'm putting you in a very dangerous situation, but you're getting close. Um, we're gonna now move forward with Great White, because he can't really do support from where he's standing. Do these rocks count as blocks? No, they probably don't. Alright, you stand there. Karibo, we're gonna have you move over to this corner of the map. And finally, with our 80 points, we're going to move Larvis up. Oh! Oh! Well, hello there! First evolution moves three. Okay, whoa! Whoa. Alright, so your HP will drop. But your AP goes way up. Your attack stays the same, which is good. And your defense goes up. However, you gain extra movement and extra attack. Hell yeah! Now is the time for evolution. Our first ever evolution is going to be strength. Larvis into Mon Larvis. Oh, this is so cool. That's right, Yugi. Infuse him. Infuse him with the power of the gods. Oh, that is a really cool animation. God, I miss old Yu-Gi-Oh games. Oh, look at him. He's all standing up right now. He's proud of himself. Okay, that cost me, sadly. But having a monster like that is going to give me an advantage in this fight. Good. I moved him over there. Okay, good. Ah, he's playing defensive. I thought he'd come after me. Oh, really defensive. All right, which one is that? That's a Feral Imp. We can fight a Feral Imp. Which one's that? And that's a Dumb Scorpion. We can fight a Dumb Scorpion. Even though my two out of King Rex won't be good against a Feral Limp, we can fight one if we have to. He didn't move these pieces, though, so my bait didn't work. My bait didn't work. I, I don't like that. So he's going to bait me instead. By hitting this one, the other one will hit... They can both hit me. But I have a type advantage, so I don't think they could kill me. Even if they did their absolute best, I don't think they could kill me. Yep, we're just gonna go for it. Alright. Time Wizard, you're gonna destroy these needle balls for me. We can't have them sneaking around the side and hurting our boss. Now, you can't exactly help Time Wizard yet. But, if you were, say... Here... Then you move one... Two. Yes, you will be able to help. Against one of them. Not the other one, but against one of them. We just gotta hope that Time Wizard's high level will keep it alive. Oh, you can almost reach that piece over there. But we didn't reach it in time, no matter what. So, what we're gonna do is a little bit interesting. We're gonna abandon going straight for the home base. We're gonna force him to consider my piece. Because if I run straight for the home base, yeah, maybe I could fight Feral Imp. Maybe. Even with a type disadvantage. Here, we could check because I have a plus 20 bonus right now. <sighs> no, I, can't. I, I wouldn't win the fight. Even as strong as 2 out of King Rex is, he won't win the fight. Not with the, that guy has buddies. So now we're going to move Karibo. Karibo, it's okay if you can't hit anybody. The point is to get them to come to you. And then Great White is the more interesting one. Because Great White is here, but he doesn't need to be here. He's a supporter. Now, I can't move anything else. Damn. Oh, you cost more now, don't you? 110. Yeah, you do cost more. Well, that's no good. We'll just have to live with that fact. 
All right, we got Keith to run. Good. That was uh, mm, okay. Karibo. Oh, we haven't seen one of these yet. All right, Lala Leon. Let's see what you can do. Karibo's gonna try and take your hit, which he's fine. He is completely fine. All right, that monster looks exactly like the card, so nothing wrong there. Gonna use that Krako energy on him. And Thunder Spike. All right. Karibo seems unfazed. And the reality of it is Karibo took it pretty well, actually. Yeah, no, not bad for my uh, little Karibo, dude. All right, that guy can't even do any damage to us. Like, no lie, that did nothing. And I think we have one defense down in this area. So that is good. All right, we knew we were going to take two hits. This one is fine. If the other one moves forward the way I think they are, then I can attempt to kill it. Yes, okay. Damn, I oh wait, we didn't see an animation. You're right. My bad, my bad. Thank god I thank god you guys told me that. And I can actually hear your voices. Don't don't think I can't. This is like Dora the Explorer. Every time you say something out loud, like, oh my god, you idiot, why didn't you turn on the animations? We haven't seen that monster yet. I can hear you. I hear everything. Yes, even the things you don't want me to hear. Even if they have nothing to do with me. You're just thinking about your real life. I know what you're thinking, but it's okay. I'll keep your secrets safe. All right, Time Wizard is heavily damaged. Now, Feral Imp is moving towards my boss piece, but I left some pretty good defenders by my boss piece, so it's fine. My boss piece is surrounded by, by friends. Um, first things first, Time Wizard, you're dying, so... Yeah, we're going to need to do this. All right. Go after this ball of fun. A decent amount of damage, but not enough. Time Wizard will most likely die. But you are going to get some shots in for the death. Alright. There we go. 96 damage is actually pretty decent. And then I, I could try to leave it up to the hand to win the fight over there. It sucks that it cost me my Time Wizard, my only Dark Killer. But it'll have to do. Next, we're going to have you special. Oh, yeah, you have that special move, don't you? I mean, shit, I kind of want to see it. Foot Stomp inflicts damage on all pieces, both friend and foe. Oh, shit, yeah. No, do it. Special ability Foot Stomp. Why not? My friends just happen to be right out of range. 57. All right, it's not the most damage in the world, I'll admit, but I can live with it if it's spread damage. Two experience for, why did that cost me a million AP? Oh, that's never mind. it might not be worth. That's like, oh, I'm out of pieces situation. That's not what I just, okay. Well, shit, that's my bad, everybody. I needed my, I needed my shark to attack. That was definitely part of the plan. Ew. All right, well, my shark was not able to attack due to me getting a little greedy. I was planning on killing one of those Lala Leones, but uh, I got a little greedy and didn't wait. expect that to cost that much. So, special abilities might not always be worth, or ever, but we'll see. So, Karibo, how are you going to take? You're not going to take these, are you? You know, I think you're safe from this one. That's the good news. Yeah. Yeah. The bad news is my two headed King Rex is one of my best uh, monsters, and he's taking a lot of damage. His special ability is cool if he's like one of the last pieces left and you just need to... Oh, I was not expecting that movement. I'm not going to lie, that was not part of the plan. And because of that, we're in trouble. Yeah, we are in trouble. If that's all the damage you can deal... No, Yugi, that was actually a good play. Then my monster will not fall. Yugi, that was a good play. Shut up. Oh my god. He got around my time wizard and killed my monster. This guy is smart. Bandit Keith is smart. Alright. Go home and play with your teddy bear. That's Rebecca, and she's the new American champion, by the way. Alright. So. You know, Bandit Keith wants this fight to be interesting, and I can Every respect that. Another step in achieving my future. Time Wizard, on the other hand, is still standing. Which, I'm going to make sure you regret that. 
So this piece is getting kind of close to my home base. And I can't kill it. But if I attack this piece, I can kill it. So the question is, do I leave two? No, I don't. All right. I'll leave one piece with a good amount of HP left. It'll be fine. Time Wizard did good. Now, we don't use my special attack. Because that costs way too fucking much. We're going to destroy the Lala Leon. Alright, 106 damage. Beautiful. With that gone, Karibo can now move in on the boss piece. Or at least pretend it is to scare the opponent. How's Sparrow Limps attacking? Ooh. Ooh, that is really good attack. He would be able to hit Karibo if I made that idea. So, I will position my monster as if I'm going to make that idea. And not go for it just yet. Okay. My left side has won the battle. My right side has not. But left side of the map has won the battle. It cost me a lot of pieces to do that, though. Larvis, or Mon Larvis, I should say. Now that you have this awkward movement, I have to be careful on how I'm going to use you. If I were to move you here, you just sneak in through that way. I like that. All right. We'll see how this goes. Right now, Bandit Keith is giving us a real fight. We're down a piece, he's down a piece. He's down a couple pieces, actually. Three pieces. But he hasn't even uh, unlocked one of them yet. Oh, you fell back instead of went forward. That might have been a mistake. Sure, you'll kill my time wizard. But, that means my root water won't have to take any damage. Oh, he's doing it. All right, everybody. This guy's nothing like you faced before. He's not joking. The boss piece is here. The Barrel Dragon. How does it feel to be blasted out of existence? Alright, Barrel Dragon has been summoned. And Feralimp is moving in on my boss piece, and so is the Scorpion. Which is part of the plan, because Larvis can sneak in there. So, Barrel Dragon has been summoned, which means Here a real I threat is on the map. I'm gonna have to deal with that threat. I don't know how yet. Karibo's already dead, so sacrificing Karibo's not the worst. If it means doing to- oh my god. It has 310 HP, Jesus Christ. It's only level 1 and it has 310 HP. Barrel Dragon is a monster. Two-headed King Rex here? 363, but he's level 3. Alright. Get rid of this guy. I know you're gonna die to Feral Limp, but you one-shot this guy. And that's it. You killed all the electric monsters on the field. Two out of King Rex literally did his job. He countered all the electric monsters. You're gonna pay big time, Runt. Who are you calling Runt? Now, Larvis. You're my next move. Shit. Ah, you bastard. Good positioning by Feral Imp. Or was it? Oh, wait a minute. I could use this. So, let's say I move here. He would hit me. But, that would leave two out of King Rex alive. I already distracted Barrel Dragon by giving him a juicy Karibo. So, Larvis is going to take the bait. Or, be the bait. He's going to get hit by Feral Imp. And in doing so, he's going to make it so two out of King Rex and maybe Mon Larvis can get a hit in. Time Wizard, I apologize. I really do. I don't need you alive. I need you to make sure this thing dies in its next hit. Alright. I know you're gonna die, buddy. I know. I know. Finally. Yeah, I need him. I want my summon skull ready. Something's gotta stare down that barrel dragon. Alright, barrel dragon. Let's see what you got. Freaking one of the coolest boss monsters from back in the day. It was also, I actually did pull one way back in the day when I was a kid. I pulled a, a, ba a Barrel Dragon Ultra Rare from Metal Raiders. It was so cool. 
Yes, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack Metal Raiders. It was amazing. And here we go. Oh my god, it's so freaking cool. Locked and loaded. Ah, they all shoot at the same time. Alright, Karibo, you really took one for the team there. I'm sorry. It was not my intention for you to die, but death had to be... Yeah. Barrel Imp takes the bait, technically. Alright, Feral Imp takes the bait. I know we take a shit ton. Okay, that's more than I was expecting, but it was going to be a shit ton because we have a type advantage. For that. No, Yugi, this was part of the plan. <coughs> he may not agree with my plan, but it was part of the plan. Alright. Still have to worry about that ball going after our boss piece, but... With all our newly dead I'm monsters, ahead. we are ahead. <sighs> he moved his boss piece. He knew I was going after it. Okay. He knew. Freaking hell. Alright, you can attack him now, thanks to the positioning. Which is exactly what we wanted. God, he's so tanky. Both my monsters that are going to hit him, he resists. Damn it. Alright. It's a shame. Look, I know he resists you, buddy, but you're... Okay, 98 is good enough. <coughs> we will take the 98. That puts Feral Limp in a position where we can kill it. Because these monsters are not going to be good with Barrel Dragon. We just have to accept Barrel Dragon is better. Oh, we're so close to killing it. If I were to move here, Barrel Dragon is really good, right? Yep, two movement and three range on attack. I have no light monsters left to fight this thing. He could snipe just about anybody. If he stood here, one, two, three, we're fine. All right. Great White's going to position itself here. Larvis, or Mon Larvis, our newly evolved monster, is dead. Rootwater is moving forward. Summon Skull plays defense in case someone comes after our boss piece. This is, a, this is a good one. Bandit Keith is giving us a really good fight here. I could consider going after the boss piece thanks to my big movement, but... <sighs> Mon Larvis, I'm sorry. Your bait was necessary, okay? Let Just, just know you're that. Boring me, kid. And you're ugly. He, he's not actually ugly, god damn it. Oh god, he's not going after my boss piece at all. He's trying to win the fight. But that's what I'm trying to do, which means I'm in trouble. This guy falling back is one of the worst things that could have happened to me. Oh yeah, he got me there. Alright, Great White. Can you move under... Ooh. Oh, he can't attack... A but you're technically attacking underwater, right? How does this not work? How does that not work? So I can't attack Barrel Dragon from there. I was afraid he could shoot through this, and I can't go underwater to attack through this? Okay. Well... I can't even attack from the side like this? He's completely safe there. Shit. Okay. Well, then I need to rethink my strategy. One, two, three. Perfect. Alright, strategy has already been re re rethunk. I rethunk it, and I know what I'm doing. Alright, we're killing him before he kills us. Great White, get in there. Devour Feral Imp. Alright, Feral Imp has been devoured. Two out of King Rex, that guy. I know you can hit his Barrel Dragon. His Barrel Dragon will murder you. Luckily, Time Wizard did everything he could to weaken this guy, so you should still be able to kill it. Yeah, you owe oh, definitely. Yeah, Time Wizard literally left him as low as possible so that you couldn't take any more hits. Good experience, too, because he killed so many monsters. Root Water, we're going to need you up here. We're going to need you. All that's left is the Barrel Dragon, but it's a goddamn Barrel Dragon, so that's, that's, yeah. That's a lot. All that's left is one of the scariest pieces in the game. It's a really cool monster. I want one. I want one really badly. All right, here we go. Barrel Dragon's ready to start moving towards me. 
but in doing so has positioned himself terribly. Now, he might have done that just because he believes he's so tanky that he could just take whatever I throw at him. And you know what? He's probably right. That's the sad part. He's probably right. But... Great White can get a hit on him now. Alright, let's see. 92 damage. Not bad. And after Karibo's damage, that's really good. Alright, we have now damaged his, am <coughs> his amazing monster. Root Water? Come on, buddy. We need you. Summon Skull? Get moving. Stand side by side with Root Water. You guys can do this. Okay, Bandit Keith, time to test out how strong that Barrel Dragon really is. Huh. I could take that. My Great White's re ready to take something like that. 9 5. Mm. None again, though. And I paid for that. This is part of the plan, Yugi. I am willing to sacrifice pieces if it means I'm safe. Alright, and now. Great White. Either win or die. I guess it's death. But he's got to do what he's got to do, guys. He knocked Barrel Dragon down. Oh, he was one experience away from leveling up. Really? You're going to do that to my boy? There we go. I can move here. And he'll probably kill Two Head instead. Nah, we, I like two head more than great white, honestly. All right, well, we win. Guaranteed victory. It was once it was a four on one, but I was afraid Barrow Dragon's attack stat would just be that high. It is just like two headed King Rex, a straight up boss monster. Uh, yep, we're gonna have to lose our guy. Sacrifices were made. We sacrificed a Karibo and a great white to this guy. But in the end, it's gonna be worth it. Because now our root water's going in. And you know he's hungry. He wants his revenge for his brethren. Alright. Point blank. No hesitation. 35 damage is plenty. We have destroyed the final monster. This will finish you! In Bandit Keith's army. This is it, everybody. Barrel Dragon is ours. away with this I just did I just did Bandit Keith you were a legitimate fight that was a really fun fight all right let's see what he has to say now because I was really mean to him before the fight no way I've beaten tougher opponents than you how could I lose name one no 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 I'm, I'll, I'll wait name one this duel was over before it began, when you decided to fight without honor. Did he cheat in this duel? What do you know? I don't think he cheated, Yugi, in this one. Drill this into your head. Next time, I will get my revenge. It's always next Just time. you wait. I'm out of here. Yeah, you go. You leave. Goodbye and good riddance, Bandit Keith. Damn, he's really... Yeah, he really hates him. And Rootwater gains a good 14 experience. That guy was worth... Like, Rootwater's level 6. So that guy was worth a lot for him to level up that much from it. Oh, something does happen to this map. I was like, there's no animations for it? Oh my god. Well, everybody, we've destroyed the map. But it was a good duel. And now that we've destroyed the map, we get our bonus points. 94 on our symbol, which means only 3 survivors. They all, except 2, are going to level up. Symbol has leveled up. I'm going to continue to give me more strength. There's no reason not to make myself stronger, honestly. Don't get me wrong. Base AP is pretty good, too. Nah, just effect strength. All right. Level 7. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, level 7 it is. Summon Skull. Lightning Strike special ability. Everything but defense went up. Which makes sense. A hundred percent makes sense. All right. This is easy. I want Barrel Dragon. That's all I wanted. You can keep the rest. I guess for fun, I'll take a Lala Leon. 
But all I wanted was Barrel Dragon. That 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 thing is so goddamn cool. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game. Guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I'll see you all next time when we take on another Area 3 opponent. These guys have definitely stepped up their game, so I'm kind of excited to see who's up next. Bye bye